Today, I want to talk about three mechanics you're using wrong in ranked. Number one, wave dashes. For whatever reason, I see too many players wave dashing around the field for no reason. Yes, it's true that really high ranked ones players will time their wave dashes to get a last second speed boost in certain situations to surprise opponents. But let's be real, you're not Abjack and you're definitely not thinking five steps ahead like he is. The truth is jumping on the ground and wave dashing around the field does not give you any more of a speed boost than just flipping wood. And unless you're already GC and very tactically using it to delay your push up, you're probably just jumping for no reason and making it harder to collect a boost. 90% of players stick to wave dashing just on the walls. Number two, air roll. From my experience coaching, people often air roll way more than they need to. When doing air roll shots, for example, I notice players pull back on their joysticks and air roll so much that they actually miss hitting the ball with their corner and instead hit it with their wheels, completely ruining the shot. I see the same thing on air dribbles where people will be so caught up air rolling that they make just poor touches on the ball and end up dropping the air dribble. When in reality, your air roll corrections for most players should just be quick adjustments. On your air roll shots, just practice flicking your joystick and in the air, only air roll until you're in line with the ball. Once you're there, continue going straight. You're going to be way more consistent that way. Number three, fast aerials. Yes, fast aerials are an amazing mechanic that you should learn how to do properly, but people overestimate how much you actually need to use them. In my 3v3 Road to SSL series, I got placed in champ, I think it was, without fast aerialing once. This is because just by holding down jump and boosting up, you can actually reach most balls and still have your flip in order to shoot into them. My general rule is if the ball is not above the top of the goal line, I try to save my flip and avoid fast aerialing. Of course, fast aerial if you're just trying to beat a specific player to the ball, but if you're going for an actual shot, save your jump. That way you can use your flip last second to correct or add more power to the ball, and you're going to become two times or three times as lethal on offense just by using that second flip to shoot rather than fast aerialing and driving every ball right into the ground. Pick one of those things to work on in your games, or if you're just stuck and not sure what's holding you back, DM me on Discord with the keyword help, and I'll get back to you with some more tips. I'll have my Discord first link down below. And as always, thanks so much for watching.